What's up guys, welcome back, I'm Spartini. Today we have Black Legend. Black Legend, it's a turn-based strategy RPG. It's a game that we will play like a, a squad of mercenaries that were called to the city uh, to help and redeem ourselves, helping against a deadly cult fanatics resistance that we need to eliminate from the city and bring some joy to the people again. And guys, if you want to know more about the game, this game was made by Warcave, it's a new developer and I will link in the description the website and also the link for the Steam where you can buy the game. Uh, I think it's on sale right now, around 10-50% discount, so if you really like the game, please go to the Steam and buy the game from this new company, Warcave. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye. The brutality of war spares none. And perhaps the survivors suffer the biggest consequences. The city-state of Grant enjoyed the protection of trade partners for centuries. And when that protection faded, as the banners of united invaders approached, the city turned to Mephisto instead. With his one hand, the legendary alchemist created a potent brew, from which he unleashed a dreaded fog that blanketed the streets. With the other, he spread his gift of antidote to the citizens. But with his legs, he eventually left, and all that escaped Grant since that day were the sounds of agony and chaos. Such is the legend of Grant. Brave mercenaries, our victorious king has given you a chance of redemption. Your transgressions against the crown shall be forgiven. Deliver him this city filled with riches, free of the mists that once turned his soldiers feral. Grant him this wish, and he will grant you your freedom. I don't get why Johan is so bothered with you lot. Every new mercenary band he wants me to let in dies faster than the last one. Name's Martin. I would settle for more pleasant introductions, but now's the time for a more simple question. Why have you come here? A royal pardon from the king. Well, I've seen my fair share of looters, treasure hunters who want to stay alive here. Then ask Johan. Get those legs moving, it's not far from here. Still have some stamina after your journey? Good. See this light? Means someone inside is willing to talk. Nervous fellow, but loyal. Keeps an eye out for the gate. Ask him for the key to the gate there. We lock off a lot of things in Grant on Johan's orders. Believes it will prevent people from stumbling into places they've no business being. You willingly entered this place? Should have taken the death sentence, friend. Much better way out. Grant is beyond saving, I tell you. 
If the fog doesn't kill you, the bleeding Mephistians will. Them nutters actually worship the fog and the madman that created it. Why I'm posted here? Simple cowardice. Useless in battle, just like most people indoors. Keep an eye out for lanterns. People hiding may have interesting things to tell. Could save your life someday. Off you go, then. Here's the key to the little gate. No point keeping it locked when the cult controls the entire city. My luck. My fisty and cultists up ahead. You lot, hope you haven't forgotten how to swing those weapons. Prepare your group with anything you found. Can't have you die this early. Take these daggers. It's always nice to have a rogue on hand. And this crossbow would do fine in the hands of a sharpshooter. Shoot down any stragglers from a safe distance. Changing your class will teach you new abilities depending on the weapon you've equipped. Keep using those abilities in battle to learn them forever. Passive abilities are learned by simply having them active in battle and performing actions. You can have free learned abilities from any class alongside the other ones. Remain versatile by swinging classes often and learning new abilities. Head on once you've sorted it all out. I can only distract them for so long, so don't take... When the enemy spots you, combat starts. Units take turns and move and attack. Your turn is decided by your initiative, and your initiative is determined by your agility stat. A unit has action points and movement. Action points are used to perform attacks and abilities. Movement will let you move across the field. Mix between movement and actions as you like. Once you're out of both, your turn ends. Ending your turn without spending all action points makes your next turn come faster. When ending your turn, pick a direction to face. Attacking from the back or side would deal significantly more damage. Units with shields take even less damage from their left and front, while those with parrying daggers will perform a counterattack. Enough talk for now. Let me remind you how it's done. <sighs> These flanking and backstab bonuses only apply to melee attacks. Your prowess in battle will improve more quickly if you know how to exploit it. Ranged attacks will always count as if they were performed from the front. 
It's your turn now. Show me what you're worth. Worse? This way now. There's more cultists ahead. Good opportunity to see if you remember how to use your body alchemy in battle. Take these throwing knives. Like regular equipment, they're equipped through the mercenary menu. Consumable items can only be used once, but don't cost any extra action points to use. Keep track of them. They can be real tide turners in battle. Not last long without knowing your body alchemy. There are four bodily humors, each represented by a color. Red, black, white, and yellow. Some of these abilities are marked with colors that will imply stacks of imbalance for that humor. Once the right amount has been applied, you can catalyze them. I'll apply Negretto, the black color with a rock. 
Then I throw a knife to apply rubato for red color. Catalyzing strike will catalyze the two into a crimson catalyst. Building stacks and catalyzing them is the best way to deal damage in combat. But keep an eye on your own units. Cortis also know how to fight this way. Remember that white and red do not match, neither do black and yellow. Any stacks that don't have a match will remain on the target. Don't disappoint me. Use those knives and rocks to finish quickly.
The entrance to the merchant's skill is up ahead. You go on first, unless I've impressed on you enough to warrant a spot amongst your crew. Why, hello there. Stumble. If you're ever in need of medical supplies or other tools, come visit me. Providing been aching to do some alchemy again. <laughs> what do you require, friend of the claw? Keep the wind in your sails. New arrivals to the city. Well, well. Look at you all. Sight for sore eyes. Weapons and armor kept in fine condition. Seen their fair share of wear and tear and rust, of course. To be used as their purpose, after all. But you let them fulfill it with dignity. Pah! Babbling like a foolish child of some attire. I'm Oliver, Master of Arms for the Gilded Claw. If you're in need of equipment, speak to me. Stock is limited. What can I do for you? Good steel for pistols and rifles is hard to come by nowadays. Next best thing would be a crossbow, but I'm all out of string. Our contact spotted a barrel of string sitting by the harbor district. Didn't want to risk getting cornered by the cops, so they left me there. If you retrieve these for me, I can provide you and the Gilded Claw with a steady stream of ranged weapons. The harbor district can be reached from the commoner district. Just keep heading north. Then head east to reach the harbor. What can I do for you? Come back in one piece, you hear me? These weapons get lonely without any- Oh, fresh meat for the Gilded Claw? About time we got some new people. Most prefer cowering in their name's Karen. I'm in charge of recruitment for our little resistance. Not that there's been much work lately. Most civilians aren't interested, and neither are the mercenaries that come into the city. If our resistance can show some actual, well, resistance against the cultists, we might ins Traveling in large groups to the city isn't the most efficient thing. Lucky for you, I can help with that. Until you need them, anyone willing to join the effort will be whipped into proper fighting shape. Stay on the lookout for potential recruits in the city. Show them a bit of kindness, and I'm certain they'll repay you with their loyalty. What can I help you with? Martin managed to convince you to at least come talk to me. Most intriguing. I'm Johan, leader of the Gilded Claw. I presume you're aware of our cultist problem. 
We try our best to keep people away from them, but struggle deeply. Sometimes we're forced to bargain with the Mephistians. And to add salt to the wound, some survivors interpret this as collaboration. If only they knew the risk we put ourselves at. Makes us question why we're even doing this. It's mostly low-ranking cultists who are willing to take the occasional bribe. Some will just leave us be. Others have supplied us with some antidote in exchange for botanicals or vermilion. Now, enough about the cult. I'll be blunt. We need your help. Your prowess in battle is exactly what we need to liberate this city. In return, we'll support you best we can. We know this city better than anyone else. So what will it be? Will you work alongside us? Words carry little weight nowadays, so speak with actions. I intend to use your muscle for an important mission. One I will explain in steps. The best way to keep civilians alive is getting them out of the city. Once we've stopped the source of the fog, speed is of the essence. The Mephistians will be on high alert as soon as we succeed. But won't expect us to escape by water. We found a ship large enough to smuggle everyone out. Has enough speed to prevent the cult from catching it. We managed to hide it in the fog over the water between the harbor and the shipyard districts. Problem is, ship that size is too great to get past the golden chain. Never heard of it. It's a barrier blocking the entrance and exit of the harbor. It's been raised ever since our neighboring nations to chain is lifted between two towers. One at the harbor district, one across the bridge at the shipyard district. The cult seems to have invested some people in maintaining it. We noticed some higher activity near the harbor district tower. Access to this tower has been locked off as a safety measure. Take this key, unlock the path, and trigger the mechanism in the tower.
What can I help you with? What can I do for you? Back in one piece, you eh? What do you require, friend of the claw? Keep